Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a serious uh, data recovery job. Now let's check the customer email. So the customer, it's a big fan of the channel. Thank you for that. Uh, Galaxy Tab, struggle to charge and the battery ran out and doesn't turn on anymore. He bought exactly the same tablet and swapped the working battery, still doesn't turn on. Plugged in the charger, I can see draw 0.5 amps. The reason I'm trying to save this tablet is it has an internal flash memory, a file which contains book annotation I've written for, for the past seven years. All I need is that file. Only a master craftsman can save me. Hmm? Can we be that man? Huh? Can we be? I will send over I working exactly the same model. Good. So uh, the customer need the tablet to be fixed in order to recall, recover that uh, book which he was working on seven years. So we have the good tablet, I'm assuming, which came here open. Uh, yeah, it is coming on. And the faulty one. So from uh, this one, we can take uh, parts and fix this board. So this board, it is important. So the first thing what I will do is I will swap the board here, just in order to have a working screen and uh, charge battery. Now, data recovery jobs, uh, they have to be treated completely different with, uh, with a regular job. I mean, a regular job... You fix it, you can't fix it, okay, everything is fine. But when the customer has files, uh, even if you don't fix it, you have to be sure you are not creating more damage. Yeah, Maybe the next repair guy can fix it, or maybe the next second repair guy can fix it. So the idea is to be very, very careful and don't put the motherboard on a dangerous situation. Oh, okay. So actually the customer opened the battery and uh, yeah, sold their wires on the each cell to, in order to charge the battery. Okay. But anyway, if anyone is watching, you don't have to do something like that. I mean, I understand it has two cells which, uh, if I remember, on a parallel mode, you can charge the battery straight here, minus and plus. That's all. Okay, so the board is out. Let me grab the power supply to see what uh, current this board is taking. And this is kind of important. Lower the voltage to above 3 volts. Very, very low current. Yeah, like 160 milliamps. Let's see what it's doing. So we have minus and we have plus. And the board is taking no power at all. Nothing. Yeah, it's taking 100 milliamps. Not anymore. 110 milliamps. But not always. Now it's taking. Now it's not taking. Now it's not taking. Now it's taking 110 milliamps. Let's raise the voltage. Three point five. milliamps because that's the limit. Okay, we are not moving forward till the moment we are finding out what is taking that current. Okay, so we took the shields out. Lol, every chip, it's, you know, has glue under it. You can see this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Kind of sucks. Let's get a thermal camera. And the customer file, it's exactly here. <laughs> Okay, so we have ground. One hundred sixty milliamps. So let me let me lower that current. Yeah, hundred milliamps. 
let's see. 100 milliamps. What is that? Oh, lol. Oh, it's the memory itself. I can't believe. Check that. It's exactly the memory. One second, it's on one side, right? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, 100 milliamps. And it's on one side of the memory. Exactly there. Let's go under the microscope and have a look. What is that? This is how it's coming from the factory. Yeah, looks like some kind of blue. Okay, okay. So our hotspot is here. Let me be more precise. It's taking no power. It's taking 100 milliamps. Yeah. Exactly here. Okay, let me try something else. Where is the other board? Okay, so this is the other board. So doing exactly the same thing. Yeah, obviously it's taking no power at all. Yeah, nothing. Okay, what do I want to know is... Uh, which is the power supply and what voltages do we have there? So we plug the battery and we need a power button. So the power button is here. Plugging the power button, pressing the power button. And the tablet it is coming on. Okay, let's have a look what voltages do we have there. So this is the working board. So here we have a 2.9 volts. Uh, here we have a 4 volts. Here we have a 4 volts. Okay, here we have 1.1. .1. Yeah, this can be our voltage. 1.1. .1. Here we have 1.8. So this power supply, this is a power supply here. One point, this is one, 1 1.8 volt power supply. So we are not plugging the power. That it will not be wise to plug the power on this board. I mean, it's not even sure if, if that matter, but let's do it. Actually, no, no, because, uh, because we can have a shorted power supply and maybe this ship is still good. Uh, yeah, good. So we have, yeah, we have everything. So first, we know voltage. We know voltage, probably we have nothing. Here we have 2.9, lol. Okay, and here we have 3 volts. Okay, that's sick. And the input 3.3. And in the moment the chip is taking current, that's crazy, I cannot trigger the board to take current. But anyway, yeah? Let's focus on this. So this one has 3.1. 3.3, 3, .1. 3, .3 .1. So I don't think it's good. The input circuit is working fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace this chip. Okay, this one. This one is 1.8 volts power supply. 
What happened with this connector? Okay, that's fine. Let's do it. Let's replace that chip. Let me use 140 degrees paste. Okay, it looks good now. Good. Thermal pad. We have ground. We have the power supply. We have the multimeter probe. Good. So coming with current here, it's taking no power. And after this chip, we have nothing. On the input, we have 3.5. Good. So at least it's no outputting power. At least it's no outputting power without being on. So here we have 3.5 and here we have nothing, zero. And on this capacitor, we have nothing, zero, which is absolutely fine. So if I'm coming with the power supply, yeah, I can still trigger the board. 100 milliamps and here we have here we have 0 0.3 and here we have 0 0.2 yes yeah, so probably the chip oh no 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 and it's still the chip there Still same problem. Okay, let's connect the battery. Let's see what voltage do we have. Here we have zero. Zero point four and the power button. Power button is here. So here we have zero, pressing the power button. And we have 1.8 volts, check that, 1.8 there. Wow, 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 something is, is wrong. Something is mad hot on this board. Okay, let's check. Plug in the battery. Ah, the the memory itself. Lol, it's it's freaking mad hot. I check that. But the board it is coming on. Why is hot? Not sure because we replaced that chip. Uh, it's, it's hard because the chip is shorted. I mean, now we have 1.8. Before we had like 3 volts. Uh, this is the schematic. So the non-power supplies is 1.8 and 3 volts. So we replaced this chip 1.8. You remember here the chip it was outputting like 3.3. So we replaced this chip. We have 1.8 here. But this 1.8, it's used to enable uh, this chip, which it will supply 3, three volts. So we have to find this U603 and check the output. So the output should be 3 volts, which is used for the NAND. U603, I found it, found it, this one. You can see it? So plug in the battery, good, and this chip, it's outputting nothing. Pressing the power button and the chip it is outputting 2.9 volts, which means uh, the non chip is that yeah, proper hot. I mean, even if I unplug the battery, yeah, if I unplug the battery, so without the battery, with the power supply 
power supply, ground. Let's simulate the, the free volts. So the free volts is taking low. The voltage gets dropped. Check that. It's getting dropped to like 1.1 volts. And on the good board, on the good board, here, it's taking no current at all. So, yeah, nothing. We have current. Yeah, we have. So on the good board, it's taking absolutely no current at all. And on the customer board with data, the voltage get dropped to 1.1 volt. You can see it's taking 100 milliamps because that's the limit. Raising the current, we can raise the current. Now the NAND is taking 600 milliamps. You can believe it. it's mad hot, mad hot. So even if the three volts power supply is good on the customer board, and the 1.8 got faulty, uh, the chip got shorted on the 3.3. Check there, check there. And it's taking 600 milliamps this chip. The non memory. <laughs> Tell me what you will do in this case. Hey, I'm sorry, this is a data recovery which I cannot complete the job. I cannot help the customer. Uh, Sometimes we can, sometimes not. But, you know, having the memory, actually the memory where is the file having faulty, this is just probably impossible. I would say impossible. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Uh, and see you on the next one. Bye.